Hey, what's going on, everybody in the YouTube community? It's your boy Mike Son 7 No, you're looking. You're not looking at Metacom figures, unfortunately. You're looking at figures are uh, give or take roughly around three inches to slightly being above. Um, these are some new figures I picked up on uh, Friday when I picked up my Michael Myers and that broken Metacom um, Venom as the Punisher figure for my People's of Royal Collectibles. I just want to pick up one of these packs. And I seen like these figures in pieces um, in, in the shop. And they were only like $4 a piece for these little things. And I was like, yeah, I picked up one and I'm looking at it. I'm like, yo, the detail and the colors to these things are intense. Like even like the veins and the muscle detail, the draping and the clothing. It's like, you know, Bandai and the Japanese really know what they're doing. And they do not play when it comes to, um, to really making a real good figure. Doesn't matter how small or big, they just do not play. But to me, Bandai always have been an underrated company. Um, I think they have so much potential, and I would love this. I mean, um, potential, excuse me, and I would love to see them do like uh, or get into the one six scale realm. But you know, really do something similar to what Hot Toys is doing, especially when it comes to the anime line. I can't think of a better company to do a nice line like that than these guys. You know, a little bit more better than Metacom because you know Metacom got some decent stuff out there especially when it comes to like anime but you know their uh, their bodies are crappy um, but the um, the head scopes the colors and the outfits are second to none but very good especially when it comes to, like the Dragon Ball Z and Japanese characters like Jojo's um, Big Bazaar uh, I mean the list goes on and on Death Note those some banging ass figures man um, just real nice I mean you know Metacom is real good at that um, with that basically being said, you know, these figures, again, are amazingly so damn detailed. And the colors are, I mean, I'm talking about right on the money. These are like three inch, and a, these are like three inch above, like Hot Toys quality in this little small scale from Bandai. And, you know, they, you know, they, they don't move, but the poses they are in are intense. Like some of these guys come with little stands, like little stands that go around a foot. Just, you know, saying to keep the figure, you know, um, at bay, as you see him here in this nice pose. I mean, who would ever think about doing something like that? That is just intense, especially for a $4 piece that comes in a little baggie that you can pick up in your local comic shop. I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? And I, I have uh, 11 of these. Two of them I picked up from um, Forbidden Planet today when I picked up my uh, Captain America. That was this guy here, as well as the guy with the long arm back there who looks kind of like Piccolo. Um, very, very beautiful pieces, man. And so you guys really have these in your hands and see just the, um, the color schemes and the articulate, and I think it's articulation, the, uh, the, they're just, they're just ridiculous. These figures look, I'm talking about, they are dead on. I mean, these figures are dead on to... The counterparts in the anime series. I mean, the outfits, the color schemes. The, I mean, the Japanese did not mess anything up with these figures. Like, the colors, and they just did a great job. Woo! I can't tell you guys just how nice these pieces are. And again, they're $3. $3 each. Some people say, man, that's too much. That should be like a dollar, two dollars. Listen, at four dollars, you can't complain. I have 11. I picked up um, nine of them from Royal, and I picked up two today, making it 11. Um, these are very nice pieces. Um... Like, you know, I like them. And, uh, again, you know, one part of being an ultimate collector is, you know, basically picking up something that you like. You got some guys who will pick up, hey, you know what? This is a nice-looking NECA figure. Oh, this is a nice McFarland figure. I always wanted this, so I like it, so I'm going to pick it up. That's what, you know, that's what it's about. It shouldn't be about limiting yourself to 1-6 because we all sometimes go to Toys R Us and local comic shop, and you see something you want, but you kind of hesitate because you're like, nah, I don't want to cheat myself. Because, you know, I'm into the one six scale. Sometimes it's good to have a variety. Why? Because it keeps you sharp and, you know, it kind of tickles your fancy when you pick up something out of the norm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but these figures are very nice figures. And, again, I don't know what kind of comic shop anybody got near them, but these things are only like four bucks for one. And they're kind of like a puzzle. They come in pieces. Um, just real good pieces, especially for anybody who's like a real Dragon Ball Z fan. And they don't take up no space. You put a lot of them in um, certain areas, and you got yourself a nice little diorama and some nice little PVC, ABC plastic pieces, man. Peace, love, and hate, grease, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys take it easy. One.